Hey guys, so welcome to today's video and you've clicked on it for one reason and you want to know how to lose fat. So I've come up with about five or six points and they're basically my best suggestions backed up as well by scientific strategies. I'm going to cover the most common mistakes that everyone makes and also just best ways to approach it for the longevity of losing fat. I'm going to make this as short as possible and just get straight into it. So point number one is to maintain eating. Most people go into the gym and they basically cut their calories to almost nothing and start themselves. On top of that, they increase their activity levels so, so drastically that they're burning themselves out. So effectively, when you cut your food, your body goes into survival mode and every single bit of food you consume from then on, well, almost, it will basically get stored. Your body slows down its metabolism so it can survive, right? If it's not getting food, then every bit of food that it does get, it's going to store onto it. AKA, you will probably be not losing fat at an efficient rate. In the same regard, you're increasing your activity level to a very high level initially. Your body's just gonna get very efficient at dealing with that intensity very, very quickly. The next time you come to exercise, you have to up the intensity level again, and if you started off right off the bat with an extremely high intensity level, there's nowhere really to go without absolutely killing yourself in the gym. So the first two points, basically I would suggest cutting your calories by 250 maximum. See how you go. You don't even have to exercise, just cut your calories by 250 and look at your physique as it changes over about two week period maybe maybe at least a little bit more after that two week period you could maybe start implementing exercise so I would honestly suggest you know 10 minutes after a session you could do 10 minutes twice a week for the first couple weeks and then two weeks later do 10 minutes three times a week and see how your body changes the main point is you do not want to be drastically cutting your calories you want to keep consuming food. Also, on top of that, you do not want to be increasing your activity level to an extreme amount where you can't progress. Fat loss is a slow game, and it's better to do things methodically and slow approach to get the maximal benefits. You know, even though it seems like it's gonna take a long time, it will actually be more efficient and you'll get to where you want to be a lot quicker. In regards to working out, I just wanna quickly give you a quick structure. So week one, you could basically do 10 minutes steady state on the Stairmaster, on the bike, treadmill, whatever you like, just 10 minutes after one session per week. Week two, you could then do two times the 10 minutes. Week three, you do three sessions of 10 minutes after three sessions per week. And week four, you might even wanna bump it up to four 10 minute sessions at the end of your workouts per week now this is only 10 minutes I think even when you're walking I do 14,000 steps per day on average uh, I'm burning 35 to 75 calories per thousand steps that's around 350 to a thousand calories just by walking so 10 minutes at the end of the day it's gonna it's gonna do wonders basically and people don't realize that just a little bit it's add up and add up and add up and considering fat loss is a long game you know it's gonna add up eventually so guys, I want to quickly interrupt this video by saying a little bit more about this. If you didn't understand it originally, I'm going to go a bit more in depth. Please skip to the time on screen right now if you don't want to hear anything about the program. So guys, in the description you will find the link up here and it will redirect you to this page. So at the top here I've got the actual overall structure of the plan. So how you are going to be able to implement your cardio into your routine. I'll briefly go through this again. So cardio, none in the first week, just implement resistance training. Week two, if you have not lost any weight, then you can get, progress to week two and implement one 10 minute session. However, if you are losing weight by just implementing resistance training, there's no need to increase cardio. Just carry on with the resistance training until you hit a plateau and you don't lose any more body fat. You only want to increase your cardio and progress week by week if you aren't losing fat. Let's be honest, if you're losing fat, what is the point of increasing your activity level. If you're decreasing fat anyway, there's, there's no need. You're just gonna wear yourself out. So this program is very basic and it's a rough guide for you guys to go take away. If you have no knowledge about working out, there's a great place to start. You may be thinking, how the heck do I find a resistance program? All it says here is chest try and, shoulder, and shoulders, etc. So scroll down the page and you will find this pool workout which includes back and biceps, all the exercises here, your steps and rep. Over here you want to be able to record the amount of weight you used for each exercise. Now each week you want to be increasing the weight you used. So guys that's about it, let's get back to the video right now. After those four weeks, you can analyze your body, see how it's doing. Visually analyze it is my next tip. Don't use scales. I mean, you can use scales as reference points, but visually analyze your body composition change. And by that, I mean, how much is your fat reducing? 
and how much is your, your muscle mass increasing. I don't even use scales at home, I just visually assess myself and then occasionally I'll go into the gym and weigh myself to see if there is a change but normally we're, we're all based on appearance so just look at yourself and if you see you're changing, don't change anything in your diet, in your training, keep it as going and if you start to plateau, think about it, if you're already doing too much exercise then fine, cut it back down but, but decrease your calories another 200, 250 and then progress again week one, 10 minutes, week two, and two times 10 minutes. I hope that makes sense. Point number three is to cut the dirty foods out of your diet. Stick to clean, natural based, organic products. So, I want you to go to the shops, do not buy your ready made lasagnas, buy sweet potatoes, all these natural ingredients that you can then put together and make a meal. You'll basically know what's going on in that meal and most likely you'll reduce your sodium intake and also your like saturated fat intake. And both these components are big water retention compounds. Basically, more sodium in your diet, the more water retention underneath your skin which will appear like it's fat for you guys but in fact it's just water your body's storing lots and lots of water so as soon as you reduce that you're gonna become a lot more thinner in the face in the body and that's probably a really really good idea including the mood benefit for me if I consume clean foods I know what's gone into my meal I will have an increased mood my confidence will go up and I'll be more motivated to stick to that plan and if I consume Taco Bell McDonald's these ready-made lasagnas from Tesco or whatever. I feel really down, it's very high in saturated fats and consuming that amount of fat is not good for you and you'll feel very lethargic. Whereas if you induce healthier food options, then your mood will increase and you'll feel a lot more energetic to start the day. So my fourth tip is to, once you've bought these clean foods, to track it. And you track this with my fitness power. It's probably one of the best apps. It's the one I use out there. Track your foods once you've consumed them. And you'll basically be able to set yourself a calorie intake and a macronutrient intake. So you'll be able to know your carbohydrates, your fats, your proteins, even sugars and you know, very, very minute micronutrients and macronutrients as well. So the benefit of that is basically you know exactly what has gone in your diet. You can set yourself a calorie intake goal for the day, for the week, and stick to that. If you want to be in that 250 deficit, then just reduce your calorie intake by 250 to your overall goal. So on top of that, it tracks your activity level and steps per day. So it's a very accurate tool to measure exactly what's gone in your body and exactly what has gone out of your body. Tip number five, or maybe six, I can't remember at this point, but it's to stick to compound movements. If you're in the gym, and lots of people say they want to lose weight and then they go for really high repetitions and lower weight. I mean, it does work, but it's probably not the most efficient way at losing weight. My suggestion for you guys is to stick to compound lifts. Compound lifts are the ones that incorporate most multi-joint and the incorporation of your full body. In regards to that, you're gonna be burning more calories in the shorter space of time. You're gonna be performing less rep with a heavy weight, you're going to be inducing muscle breakdown so you can repair and get stronger. As we know, fat sits on top of muscles, so your muscle will actually shape the fat and it make you appear like you've got less fat on your body. On top of that, you're going to be burning more calories because it's a compound lift, it's a lot harder. And number three, there's actually a thing called the epoch effect. Epoch effect is basically the rate at which you burn calories even after you finish resistant training. So as you know, that muscle breakdown, the repair to your body, it needs fuel. The epoch effect is basically up to 24, 36, 48 hours after you've worked out, you'll still be burning calories in the sense that you will be repairing your body. And I'm not too sure how many calories you burn, but it's a really, really good benefit of resistance training while losing fat. I just wanna quickly say, I would highly recommend you resistance training over cardio or a combination of the both of them. Obviously, as we know, cardiovascular work increases the strength of your heart and reduce risks against cardiovascular diseases. On top of that, it's good for your lung function and overall health, as we know. However, as I've just mentioned, resistance training, if you want to lose fat, is highly beneficial as well because of that increased muscle mass that you sustain during it to shape the fat and appear like you've got less body fat. On top of that, it's a lot of hard work and you will be burning calories. The only thing is with both of these, you need to be consuming the food to repair yourself and that's where all the previous points tie in. There's no point exercising unless your diet is good. And I hope you've taken a few tips to improve your own diet through this video and we'll quickly recap on that right now. Consume clean food, track your calories for the day and don't induce an extreme cut. Decrease your calories by around 250 at a time, increase your activity level first and then you can maybe decrease your calories again by another 250, increase your activity level again, and you know, if you want by then, you'll probably be losing a lot, a lot of fat at that time, and decrease, 
uni, I love it. And decreasing your calories even further. Potentially you would want to do that if you get to a very lean stage. However, fat loss is a long game, so you're in it for the long run, and the best way to do it is a slow, methodical approach, and induce no drastic measures. Apart from that, guys, I hope this has helped you. Follow my Insta for a lot more fitness content. I basically post pretty much every day on there, you know, ab workouts, fitness-related stuff, and my journey as well. Give me a follow, it'll be in the description down below, and of course, if you want any tips whatsoever, visit my website and you can drop me a message. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below if you want more content like this. I'll be happy to go through it in even more detail or a related topic. Again, um, provide you with the information you need to better yourself. And um, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks.